<clears throat> so I'm in the mood to film a declutter and I was looking around and I'm like what do I need to get rid of I have so many lip products you guys so 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 many lip products that I don't ever wear I love them they're beautiful I swatched them and I'm like oh, love her so much don't wear it so I thought it would be fun to film a lip product declutter. We're gonna get rid of some lipsticks, some glosses, probably some lip balms, a little bit of everything. I do also have some liquid lips. I haven't worn a liquid lipstick in probably a year. Yeah, it's about right. So let's get into the declutter. You didn't come here to listen to me talk about nonsense. Let's start decluttering. Ride it, my pony. Oh, God, that's actually disgusting. Let's hide all the junk so it looks like I actually have my life together. How's that? Pretty good. Okay, looks like my room's actually clean. Love that. It's all smoke and mirrors, people. All smoke and mirrors. Okay, so let's start in here. This is my lipstick drawer. These are pretty much all of my lipsticks other than MAC. I have some MAC ones. I have some, we'll get into them. There's more up on my vanity. This is the meat and potatoes of my lipstick collection. I can't believe I just said that, wow. Um, and as you can see, I've run out of room, so I've just started like throwing stuff on top. I do not wear the majority of these even though I love them. I love every lipstick in here with all of my heart and soul. I just don't wear them. And I'm not gonna cut this down like massively because I just physically can't do that. But I am gonna try to get rid of a good amount. Let's get started. Chick-fil-A, call me. Okay, so look at all of these Natasha Denona lipsticks that I have. I love them, you guys. Love them. I did a lip swatch video on this entire collection. I will put it in a card. It was actually a really good video. I loved the way that that video turned out. Um, these lipsticks are amazing. They're so creamy, but they last on your lips. They're like the perfect kind of matte, kind of cream lipstick. The colors are so saturated and beautiful and they wear so well on the lips. But I don't need all of these. The colors are just like so saturated and beautiful, but I don't need all of these. So this one is Lirin, Laron, I'm not sure. And this one is beautiful, but I feel like I've seen it before. I don't grab for this one often at all. Oh, but now looking at it, I'm like, that's so pretty. Let's swatch some and then I'm gonna decide. Okay, this one is Naya. This is one of the deeper ones. I am gonna keep this one because this is very, very unique to my collection. I've gotten rid of a ton of lip products and I don't have many dark nudes. So I know that I'm gonna keep that one, but I'm gonna kind of put them all in order. This is Averil, Averil. That one I'm pretty sure I'm gonna part with because I just don't ever wear that like mauvey berry color. So she can go. Sammy, this is another darker one. Oh, this is gorgeous. Look how pretty that is. They're all just so pretty and then I'm like, oh, I don't wanna part with them. I am definitely keeping Jennifer. She's one of my favorites. Look at that. So good. Should I zoom you guys in more? Let me zoom you in a little bit more. Okay, so that's Jennifer right there. So good. Oh my gosh. Probably my favorite from the collection. Uh, Natasha. This one I can probably get rid of because it's just too light for me. I love a light, like, cooler tone nude. But sometimes this one on my lips just doesn't look good. So I think I can get rid of that one. Yana, oh Yana, you're so gorgeous. Oh, my camera doesn't wanna focus. That's Yana, oh my gosh, I love that. I freaking love that. 
Okay, I gotta speed through this. This is Allison. She's another one that I wear quite a bit. If I'm gonna grab for one of these lipsticks, Allison, she's a fan favorite. Uh, Judith. Oh, Judith is another one that I really love. Oh my god. Judith ain't going nowhere. Look at her. Uh, are you kidding me? Look at that. Yeah, Judith, you gotta stay with me, girl. But do you see, I really don't need all of these. This is Claudia. Oh my god. Freaking Claudia. Oh my god, you guys, why am I not wearing these? They're so good. I need to get back into wearing lipstick. Beatrice. Oh, Beatrice is way too late for me. Okay, I had to tilt you guys up a little bit. Um, I love that color, but I think it's too light for me, but I'm a sucker for that, like, cooler toned nude. Okay, three more. Michelle. Oh, I also love Michelle. Michelle Stang, even though I want to get rid of her because people always call me Michelle. I don't know why, and I hate it. Not that I hate the name Michelle, but it's not my name. This is Noah. <laughs> wow, these are so good, you guys. I forgot how pretty they were. And this is Susanna. Oh, Susanna. <laughs> oh, I mean, just feast your eyes on that hand. That is a bomb hand. Dang it. What am I going to do? I definitely don't need all of these. Okay, so I've decided I'm going to get rid of four of them. I'm going to get rid of Yana because I'm going to keep like two of the other deeper shades, but that one I can get rid of. Getting rid of Natasha, I love the color, but it just doesn't look good on me. I'm also getting rid of Allison and Avril. I forget. I think this one and then maybe this one. No, that's Jennifer. I like Jennifer. I think it was it. Anyway, those are the four I'm getting rid of. Okay, so I have three from Huda, and I never wear these. I'm not a big fan of the formula, and I just don't ever grab for them. So this is Joyride. It's such a pretty color. It's just not a color that I gravitate towards. Uh, this one is Interview. Another really pretty color, but like if I had the option, I would always grab for the Natasha ones over these. And then this one is Anniversary. This is probably the one that I've worn the most. But I'm just not a huge fan of the formula, and I always pass over these and pick something else. So I'm going to get rid of all three of these. My two Tom Ford ones I know that I'm keeping because I love them. So I have one of the Ultra Shine lip colors in the shade Bare. This is one of my favorite lip products. I do wear this one quite a bit. My hand is wet from that wipe. Look at that. It is cool toned nude heaven. One of the best lip products that I've ever purchased. Worth every, every penny. And then I also have one of her matte ones. The lip color satin matte. In the shade La Nudite, sorry, my camera cut out. So good. So, so, so good. Would never part with these. Like, you would have to pry these out of my cold, dead hands. And then the YSL Lip Rouge Pure Couture in number 10. Oh, just look how gorgeous. It's just like a work of art. The packaging, the color. I don't wear this very often, though. But, oh my gosh, so pretty. I'm keeping this. I'm keeping it because, not because I love the color so much or anything. It's just, she was pricey. I love the packaging. I love the color. I like mixing it with other things. I I'm just not getting rid of it. Uh, one of my favorites, this is an H&M lipstick. If you've been with me for a while, you remember me talking about in a nutshell. I used to rave about this. It's still one of the best nudes. I don't even know if you could get this anymore, like if they still make it, but it is so good. The formula is amazing, so inexpensive. H&M's makeup line is pretty good. I don't even know if they have a makeup line anymore. I mean, I've had this for a few years. So good. 
This I know was discontinued, the Sephora Rouge Shine in 01, another one that I've talked about quite a bit. It's so glossy and shiny and amazing. I don't know why they would get rid of it. Like Sephora, you have so many crappy lip products and this is the one, <laughs> that sounds terrible. But like this is so good, why would you get rid of it? I just don't understand. And excuse my terrible self tanner, I self tan last night in a hurry and I forgot to wipe my hands off. So I totally look like I've never self tanned before. Okay, I have four from Charlotte Tilbury. If I swatch everything, we're gonna be here forever. So this is Kim KW. Was not a big fan of this one. The formula is so chalky and it looks so like pasty when it's on your lips. Not a fan, getting rid of. Shocking, I know. And then, oh, this is a ColourPop one. Where'd you come from? I have Nude Kate, which is a gorgeous color. Such a pretty nude. Look at that, it's gorgeous. Keeping her, I do love this one. And then I have Pillow Talk, which is another one that I really, really like. I prefer mixing her with something else because on its own, it's a little too like berry movie for me, but I like it, I like it. My favorite one is Bitch Perfect, which is this one. I love the name, I love the color, and the formula is really nice and like glossy and creamy, and this is a very different nude for me. Usually I go for the very cool, like pinky nude, but um, I love that one. It's su just such like a different kind of nude for me. Okay, these two that I have from Sephora, these are amazing. These are such good dupes for like the YSL, like Shine Balms or whatever they're called. Uh, these are Sephora Rouge Lacquer. L21 is this one. I love these. If you like glossy balms, like a tinted balm kind of thing, do not spend your money on like the YSL, the Dior. Get these Sephora ones. They're incredible. They really are. You cannot tell the difference. This is my favorite one, L20. No, this is L23. No, this is the one that I'm getting rid of. This one's too like peachy and the formula feels not as good as the first one. The first one, which is the one that I love, is L21. So good. Do you see how like cool tone that is? Ugh. Does things to my body. Okay, so I'm getting rid of L23, keeping L21. Back here, I have a little Maybelline, Baddest Beige. I actually have two of these. So I will get rid of the one that I haven't swatched yet. Here's this guy. She's pretty. She's really pretty, and I like to mix it. I, I, what? I've really gotten into mixing lip products when I do wear like an actual lipstick. I like this one. I'm keeping her. Okay, I have four here from Becca. I think Becca's lipsticks are beautiful. I really, really like them. Sugar is my favorite one. I will never part with this. It's just cool pinky nude. It's just what I go for. Uh, this one is bare. This one's pretty. This one's warmer. I can probably get rid of Bear because I never grab for this one, even though it's a gorgeous shade. Uh, this one is Cupid's Kiss. This one's a little bit deeper. I can probably actually get rid of that one as well because some of those Natasha ones are very similar. Oh, I don't know. That's a tough call because I really, really, I'm going to put her in a maybe pile. And then this one is Petal. Petal I'm going to get rid of because it's just not my shade. No, not my shade. Okay, goodbye, Petal. And then Lipstick Queen Saint Peachy Nude. This is another one that I love. It looks like it's going to be this like darker nude, but it's such a sheer, glossy formula. Feast your eyes on that. Oh, so good. Yes, keeping. Love. Okay, let's go through the ColourPop ones. I did get rid of a few of these and then I pulled them back out and I'm like, no, I have to keep them. Have not worn them. So I'm pretty sure that I can get rid of some of them. Okay, this one is Simon Says. It's pretty, but 
I've seen it many times before, so I'm going to get rid of that one. Uno Mas. I'm pretty sure I can, yeah, I can get rid of that one as well. Uh, what's your sign? This one's really pretty. Ooh, that's so pretty. I'm going to keep that one. These, I've noticed, ColourPop lipsticks kind of start coming out of their little, like the actual lipstick bullet kind of pops out. Um, but I do really like the formula of them. This one is Butter. I don't know why I kept this one because it's that really light nude that looks super like chalky and pasty on me because I'm too dark for it. So getting rid of that one. This one is Spring Roll. Pretty, but I don't need it, and I'm not going to wear it. This one is ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I can get rid of this one also. It's like a peachy, orangey nude, and it would look awful on me. And then Tea Time. I'm also getting rid of this one because <laughs> when have you seen me in that lip color? I can tell you when. Never. Looks amazing on other people, but looks like trash on me. Okay, 902C from Wet n Wild. This is my original one. I can't bear to part with it. Even though I got a new one, I feel like the color is a touch different, but I'm going to get rid of it because it's so old. It has to go. Victoria from Jessie's Girl. I love this. It's so, like, non-existent. It's so glossy and sheer. It's a winner. It's bomb. Lip Stories from Sephora in number six. I need to wipe these off. Oh, she's so beautiful. Again, very glossy and balmy, which is what I go for. Love, love this color. I need to wear these because I'm very disappointed in myself right now. Okay, let's do these four from Tarte. I actually have a lot more from Tarte. I use them like as decoration in the background of my videos. They're on my little table in the back. Um, but these are the four that I actually wear. Well, I should be wearing. Oh, Colada. This is such a gorgeous color. I don't know why I can't bear to part with that. I just love this shade and I love this formula as well. This one is Rum Punch, another beautiful one. This line of lipsticks is so good. Look how pretty they are. I just can't, I can't get rid of them. Beach Babe, this used to be my favorite. I have not worn this in so long, no. Oh my gosh, I'm not gonna get rid of any of these. And then this one is Skinny Dip. Skinny Dip I will get rid of. Because, again, it's a little bit too light for me, and it just doesn't look good on my lips. ELF Touch of Nude. This is another really good lip product. So inexpensive. If you want, like, a sheer, balmy nude, and you don't want to spend more than a few dollars, Touch of Nude from ELF. It is really, really nice. I forgot how good that was. Look at that gorgeous color. Oh, you guys. I'm, like remembering so many amazing lips. Okay, this is Flower Beauty Naked Blush. This is a matte. Um, I can get rid of that. Yeah, I can part with that one, even though I really do like the flower lip products. They're good. Two from Revlon. This one is one of their new mattes, Untold Stories. Um, I can get rid of that. Can I? Yes, I can. Come on, Nicole. You need to get rid of stuff. And then Bare Affair, I'm not getting rid of this one. It's just such a good drugstore option, I know. If you're not like a huge nude lip fan, you're looking at these and you're like, they're all the same. But they're not. They're not. The formulas are different. And they just give you a different feeling when you wear them. I'm keeping Bare Affair. That's a really, really good Revlon lip. And then two from <clears throat> Napoleon Purtis. They're the exact same color. They are Hess. If you have been with me, you know about my love for Napoleon Purtis Hess. Like one of my most favorite nudes of all time. One of these is old and one of them is new. 
I can't bear to part with either of them though. It's one of the best nude colors in the world. Same one. I know I'm going to swatch both just for the fun of it. You probably can't even see that. It's so good. Yep, I'm keeping them both because I have a problem. Classic K from Kim K. I really, really like this one. I was surprised by how much I like Kim K's uh, makeup line. It's really good. This is beautiful. And it's the only one I have from her line. I love the packaging. It's just very simplistic, very classic. So I'm keeping that one. Two from Makeup Forever, Artist Rouge Cream, my favorite, C105. Again, if you've been here, you know my love for C105. I mean, that is me in a lipstick. It is everything and more. And I still wear this. And I still love it. This is C107. I can part with her because... I've, ju I've seen it before. Okay, I guess I am swatching everything. My camera just stopped filming, so hopefully you guys didn't miss anything. This is a uh, meringue from Bite Beauty. Gorgeous, gorgeous color. Yep, keeping her. Um, I wasn't going to swatch everything, but now I kind of feel like I have to. Because what's the point of, you know, getting into my nude lips if you can't see what everyone looks like swatched? So this video is going to have to be in two parts. Today we're going to do this lipstick drawer and then part two will be like glosses and everything else. I just made that decision. Honeycomb from Bite Beauty. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at her. Oh my God. Wait, she looks so similar to that. Which was what? I never realized how close she was to C107 from Makeup Forever. But I feel like the Bite formula is just so nice and it's very light. And this is just a mini guy. He's not taking up any space. I'm keeping it. Three from NARS. I actually have more from NARS, but they're in my Shop My Stash, which you guys will see an update video very soon. This is Pago Pago. It's a beautiful nude. It has a little bit of shimmer in it, which I don't know that I love. Oh, I don't know. That's tough. Look, you can see the little bit of shimmer in it. I usually don't grab for this because of the shimmer. I think I might get rid of this one. I'm going to put it in my maybes. And then Belle Du Jour is a gorgeous nude. I bought this because of Katie from Luster Lux. It is such a light nude but it's gorgeous and the formula is so glossy and thin and beautiful. Definitely keeping that I need to freaking wear that. And then this is cruising. This is my favorite NARS lip. It is just, it's so light. It, oh, pff, duh. It's like the most gorgeous, cooler toned pinky nude. So good. Like top 10 lip products of my entire life, cruising from NARS. If you like the majority of lip products that I recommend, like nude lips, you have to own cruising. It is a must have. Uh, champagne from CoverGirl, this one I can get rid of. I always keep this and I never end up wearing it, but it is a really good option. Like it's a great lipstick. I just, I need to get rid of it. And then Honeymoon from NYX. I used to be obsessed with the NYX matte lipsticks. I haven't worn them in so long. This one's really pretty, but it's a little bit too like purple for me, so I'm gonna get rid of this one. All May Go Wild. I totally forgot that I had this. Um, yeah, I can part with that one. I'm not crazy about that shade, and yeah, she's going. Okay, last one. Then I gotta wipe my hand off. This was the one that Colleen Ballinger came out with. Uh, this one is called Daisy May. I really don't like this color. I thought it was gonna be like super nude and gorgeous, but it's a little bit more like mauvey, berry, a little bit darker than I would like. So I don't ever wear it. It is so not my color, 
but I love the packaging. I really like Colleen. Emma used to be the biggest Miranda fan, so I keep it just for nostalgia purposes, I guess. Okay, my mom called me, so I took a little break. Okay, we are back, so let's go through Urban Decay. I have quite a few. I've gotten rid of a ton. This is Carnal. This I know I'm getting rid of because it's just not my color. I have to face facts that I don't wear these darker nudes. As beautiful as they are, I just don't wear them. This one is Vanished. This is a very sheer one. This one I love. This one is so pretty. It's like almost non-existent, but it's so good. Love that, totally keeping that. You can see how much of it I've used, like, I love her. 66, oh my God, this one I've never even swatched. Okay, I'm gonna give that away. I'm not gonna swatch that because obviously it's not my color. Safe word, this is a gorgeous one. Look how pretty she is. Ooh. Ooh, that is good. That we're keeping. I really like Urban Decay lipsticks. This is Fuel 2.0. Gorgeous color. So beautiful. Sorry if it's not focusing. If I'm too close, it gets weird. And if I'm too far away, it gets weird. Uh, where's the first Fuel here? I still think I like the first one better than the second one. So that's Fuel, that's Fuel 2.0 above it. They're both really good. Do I wanna keep both of those though? I don't need both. Fuel 2.0. Oh, but look, it has the special packaging. <sighs> I'm gonna keep on. See, this is what I do. First Sin, I'm gonna get rid of this one. It has a bit of like a shimmer to it. It's just not my color, so I'll get rid of that guy. Abstract. This one was from the Jean-Michel Basquiat collection. Am I saying that right? Probably not, but it's such a unique nude, and it's beautiful, and I love the packaging. Look how cool it is. Keeping. Stark Naked is one of my faves. This is a beautiful, like for me, like a darker nude. <laughs> I know it's not dark, but for what I normally wear, it's a little bit darker. Oblivion, I don't know why I still have this. There's just something about this one that I've always liked, but it looks terrible on me. Those purple nudes just don't look good on me. So I'm gonna get rid of that one. And then we have a few from L'Oreal. I've really cut down my L'Oreal collection. This is Full Blown Fawn. I don't recall that name. This is another like purple nude, but this one's a little bit more subtle. I'm gonna keep her because I don't have anything else like that one. And then Utmost Taupe. This one I can probably get rid of, but I love having these good drugstore options. I'm keeping that, that's beautiful. And then Ultra Nude, this one is gorgeous. I love this one. Look how pretty that is. Oh my gosh, that is good. That is so good, keeping. Okay, I have a few Morphe ones. These were the ones that made the cut. This one is for Evs. I love Morphe lipsticks. They're so creamy and good, but they last really well on your lips. They're amazing. Keeping. This one is Honey. This is my favorite one. Oh, look how beautiful that is. Gorgeous. Morphe lipsticks are the bomb. Wifey is another one that I love. Oh my gosh, I really, really like Morphe lipsticks. This one is almost on the verge of being like chalky on my lips, but it's not. And it looks nice under a gloss. And then this one is caught. Oh, we'll go right here. Look how pretty. So good. I know a lot of these are similar and I'm keeping them, but it's just who I am. 
I have this one from Revlon, the Cushion Lip Tint. I like this. It just does not last on my lips at all. But it's such a pretty color. You see that? It's so pretty. This is just almost like a, a lip balm with color. I, I'm going to put it on and see what I think. Mm, she's cute. I'm keeping her. All May Color and Care Lip Oil in Slick in Dulce de Leche. I've worn quite a bit of this one. Now this is like a balm. It has like zero color. Tiny, tiny bit. I don't even know if you can see that. Um, I'm going to keep her. I like her. Oh, Burt's Bees Gloss Lip Crayon. Oh, what was this called? Outback Oasis. I used to go hard with this. I love this color. It's that cool tone pinky nude that I love. And the formula on this is so nice. Yes, you're staying. And then another Burt's Bees Nile Nude. This is another one that is so nice and I very rarely hear people talk about these. It's such a light, like sheer nude. Really comfortable. It's a nice mix between like a lipstick and a tinted balm. Keeping. Oh, here's my two newer ones from Wet n Wild. I think 902C is different though. Bear it all. I don't know, I just feel like the color is different, but I'm keeping it. And then this one is skinny dipping. Oh, this one is really pretty. Look at that, Wet n Wild doing your thing. It's gorgeous. And these are like $2. And then I have two hourglass, what are these called? Girl lipsticks. Uh, influencer is this one. This is my favorite one. It's really pretty, really glossy and shiny. And then this one is Creator. This one I can get rid of, yeah. That's pink and I don't do pink, so. You can go and you can stay. YSL Rouge Pure Couture in number 70. This was like a little Sephora perk. I like that it's a more sheer formula and it's super glossy, even though it's kind of pink. I like it. Am I not doing good? I feel like I'm not doing good. Okay, what is this? Oh, NARS, yes. This is the Orgasm Lip Balm. You know, this on my lips, turns the most like hideous pink. Do you see how pink that is? I'm gonna get rid of this because I never wear this. I always wear my NARS um, Hidden Pleasure. I think that's what it's called. Their Tinted Balm, love that one. But the Orgasm one is too pink for me. And then I have two of the exact same lip product. This is the YSL Rouge Volept Shine in number 44. So I have this one. And it was getting low because I wear it. Well, I used to wear it a lot. And then they came out with this one. That's what it looks like. They came out with one with little hearts on it. How could I not? So I have two of them. And I don't really wear it anymore because I was feeling like it was turning very pink on me. But I'm still keeping both of them because they were expensive and I'm going to try to at least use one of them up. And then this Origins lipstick. These are really, really nice. This one is Champagne Orchid. Such a nice, light, glossy formula. These are so underrated. I don't hear people talk about these and they are amazing. And then this is one of the Origins like more balmy ones. This one is Honey Blush. I went hard with this. Look at that thing. It's just like so me. Look how beautiful. Oh my gosh, love that. I need to wear this. I totally forgot about that. And then I have four of the Jouer Shine Balms. Uh, Peony. I'm keeping all of these. Oh gosh, we'll go down here. You're probably not going to be able to see these very well. Let me swatch all of them and then I'll tell you the colors. Peony. Amaryllis, Monarch, and Rosé. They are amazing. I've talked about them many times. Amaryllis is obviously my favorite. It is the perfect nude shade. They're so shiny and 
just like nourishing. So you get the balm, but you also get this amazing, beautiful, glossy, just gorgeous color. Cannot recommend them enough. And they have so many gorgeous shades. Those are just my four favorites. I also have the natural one that's just basically colorless. And I have that one up on my vanity. I just wear that like as a lip balm. Okay, we're getting to the end. We're getting there. So I have two of the L'Oreal Color Riche Shine Balms. I have Dazzling Doe. These are nice as well. Uh, yes, that's so gorgeous. And it's drugstore. I just kind of burped. Um, keeping that, and then this is Glossy Fawn. She's beautiful. That's my second one. I went through an entire Glossy Fawn. Or no, did I go through an entire Dazzling Doe? I think it was Dazzling Doe. I haven't worn this in a while, but oh, they're so nice. So nice. Another good option if you're a fan of like the YSL Rouge Velux Shine. These are a really, really good, more inexpensive option. Okay, what do we have here? Is this MAC? What is this? Oh, this is MAC. How did she get in here? MAC Sunset Rose Cream Sheen Lipstick. I totally forgot that I had this. She's pretty. Ooh, she's pretty. I don't know why she's not with the rest of my MAC lipsticks, but I'm keeping her. And then the Pat McGrath Lip Fetish, I think. Yeah, Lip Fetish Sheer Color Balm in Blow Up. This is gorgeous. I need to wear this more because she was not cheap. I mean, would I recommend this? Probably not because I feel like there are more inexpensive options that are very, very similar. So I wouldn't recommend going out and buying this one unless you're like a huge Pat McGrath fan and you know, you want the cool packaging. But there are definitely like the L'Oreal Shine Balms that I just showed you, very, very similar to the Pat McGrath. Look at that. You could never tell the difference. Formula is so close. Oh, I have another Bite Beauty. This is the BB for lips in the shade Suede. Ooh. Oh, she went bad. She went bad. Ooh, look at that. That's gross, Nicole. Oh my god, that's gross. Okay, she's going in the trash. Wow, that's just kind of like turned my stomach. Ew. Okay, two from Becca. These are the Lush Lip Color Balms. So we have Cafe Olay, which is my favorite one. It's just a really nice, soft nude. And then we have chai cream. This one I'm getting rid of. I never ever wear this. I don't even know why I still have it because I always go for the lighter shade. So keeping one, getting rid of one. Oh look at this packaging. Isn't it so cool? It like does a rainbow thing. This is the Dior Addict Stellar Shine in 125. This is very unique to my collection because usually I go for the super nudie shade but this one is like a like a, almost like a tangerine apricot shade. It's so pretty. It has a little bit of a sheen to it, and I love it. Love this. Ooh, this is my favorite Wet n' Wild lip. This is Close Off. This is one of their glossy ones. It is so good. Look at that gorgeous color. The formula is amazing. It's balmy, it's sheer, it's glossy, it's comfortable. It's like $2. You can't go wrong. Amazing. Clothes off. Makes me want to take my clothes off. That's how good it is. Okay, a few from Chanel. This is the Le Beige Balm in number 10. I have had this forever. It's pretty much colorless. It has a hint of like a peachy, peachiness to it. Really, really nice. Love that one. And then a few lipsticks. I love the Rouge Coco Shines from Chanel. This one is in time. I feel like this one was limited edition. They bring it back occasionally. It is a stunner. These are gonna be kind of hard to see because they're super, super sheer. Love in time, keeping her forever. 
Secret is also really pretty. Oh my gosh, I love these, you guys. They're so good. Look how beautiful. Look at her. Oh, amazing. And my favorite one is Boy. Just feast your eyes on that. Chanel Boy Rouge Coco Shine is one of my top five all-time favorite lip products. It's pretty sheer, but uh, on the lips, it just makes your lips look so like juicy and luscious and delicious and yes. Rouge Coco Shine, now they are one thing that I say spend the money on. If you want one, you find the shade that you're gonna wear every day, you will not be disappointed. If you like sheer, glossy, tinted balms, these are some of the best that you can buy. Voodoo Lily from NARS. This was limited edition. It sold out in like seconds. Oh, I love this. It is so light. There's like next to no color, but it's just enough. This, like swatching it doesn't do it justice. This on the lips, like when you look at it, you're like, ooh, that's gonna be this weird purple. It's so pretty. I remember when this came out, I was dying to get my hands on this. It has like the really cool packaging. I love, love her. Uh, Lipstick Queen Float. This, again, one of my favorite like sheared out glossy, balmy kind You're of You're not even gonna be able to see it. But on the lips, this has the coolest, almost like iridescence to it. That looks like nothing. But I'm telling you, on the lips, this is gorgeous. Oh my God, so pretty. Super, super light. Oh, there's a few more from Urban Decay back here. Earthling, which I'm gonna get rid of. This is so sheer, but it has that like whitish, like pastiness to it that just doesn't look good with my like medium skin tone, light to medium skin tone. This is Alice. It's such a different kind of color. Like when you put it on, it pretty much, how can I explain it? It's so light that it doesn't even give your lips much color, but what it does give them somehow makes them look so like plump and just like juicy. It looks like actual trash when I swatch it, but I swear on the lips, this looks so cool. Maybe you can see it in the bullet. It has a bit of like iridescence to it. It's so pretty on. I know it looks like nothing swatched. Uh, Sansa Stark, Sansa Stark. This was from the Game of Thrones collection, which I was not a fan of the show, or the, I didn't think the collection was that great. I'm sorry, Urban Decay. Um, so I probably am saying that name wrong, but this is beautiful and I totally forgot about this. I like that it's more of like a peachy, orangey shade because I don't have a lot of that. Sansa Stark, Sansa Stark. You guys can <laughs> roast me in the comments. Okay, this was a limited edition from Marc Jacobs. I had to get my hands on this because I love me some leopard. This is called Perfect, like per, P-U-R-R. -R. It is beautiful. It's so pigmented. I usually don't wear it on its own, but oh my gosh, just for the packaging alone, like who would part with that? Are you kidding me? Never. Okay, this last row over here, I know you can't even really see them, but they're like my mini lipsticks. You'll see them when I pull them out. Okay, so we have a mini Tom Ford in Indian Rose. This is so not my color, but I could never bear to part with this little tiny tube. It's so adorable. I'm going to see if someone wants this because I don't ever use it, but oh, it's baby and it's adorable. And then I have a little hourglass uh, girl lip. This one's in Peacemaker. Love this one. Look how beautiful that is. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Keeping, I love these little minis. Uh, Barbara from NARS. Oh my gosh. Remember when the Audacious lips came out? They like took over the freaking makeup industry. People were so excited. This is Addie. This was like a little duo. These are both pretty, and I'm keeping both of them. I was about to justify it, but I'm just gonna say I'm keeping them. I have two little mini Marc Jacobs ones. This is Slow Burn. 
That's really not my kind of color. I swear this used to be lighter. That's way too dark for me. Okay, I'm getting rid of slow burn. But cream and sugar, I know that I love this one. Ooh, she's gorgeous. Yes, keeping. And I mean, how can they make things this cute? Just look at that. Oh, it's adorable. Then I have a little YSL, I don't even know. Rouge lipstick in number 44. Wait, is this? Oh, this is like my Rouge Volup Shine, but in like lipstick form, maybe? Ooh, she's kind of cute. She's a little pink, but I think we're gonna, we can work with it. And then this little baby Lancome La Absolue Rouge in 202. And this is a sheer one. This I used to go hard with. It's like non-existent, but it has a little bit of pink to it. Like the lightest pink. And it looks really pretty on the lips. A little mini Bite BB for lips, like that one I showed you that was nasty. This one's in the shade Flush. She still seems to be good. I loved the BB for lips and they discontinued them. I don't know why because they were so good. This one has like a orangey kind of shade to it. These are so nice. Oh, if I could have a brand bring one thing back. Okay, first it would be the NARS um, Bonk to Sable, which is my favorite, Bonk Bonk. The highlighting palette but also these bb for lips from bite were so damn good and then i have this little double-sided bite luminous cream lipstick mulberry and retsina i kept it for retsina i think i'm saying that right this is such a gorgeous nude uh, look how pretty she is but you know i've had this for so long here i'll swatch mulberry for you it's really dark I would never wear that color. That would look awful on me. Um, I've had this for so long that it is time to part with her. I'm going to see if Bite still does this shade Retsina. Maybe not right away. Oh, God, that is, wait, I don't know if I can. I was going to say I'm parting with it, but look at her. She's so gorgeous. Oh, wait, let me smell it because I've had this forever. It still smells good. I'm keeping it. Oh my God, I'm the worst. I'm keeping it. Okay, Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. This is like the lip glossy version. I don't know exactly what they're called though, but this is really, really nice. It's really, really not my color though, but this is the only one I have and I do like this formula. Oh my God, Nicole, you're not doing good girl. This is Pillow Talk from Charlotte Tilbury. It's so little. I've already swatched it once, so I'm not gonna swatch it again, but look how adorable that is. So cute. Okay, two minis and then we're done. Smashbox Famous. Be Legendary Lipstick and Famous. Look at the packaging. It has little lips on it. It's so cute. And I really like this color. It's a beautiful nude. And I feel like it's kind of a unique shade. So I've always hung on to this one. And then I have Naked Dolly from Too Faced. I've had this forever. I need to get rid of that. That is not my color. But I just love how tiny and cute this is. But I will part with her. I will give that up. Okay, I didn't do that great, you guys. Oh, shit. I really wanted to do better. So as you can see, <laughs> my keep pile is much larger than my get rid of pile, but I mean, I didn't do terribly. Those two little minis, I'm going to, I'm getting rid of both of them also. Um, yeah, I, I did okay. Kind of good for me when it comes to nudes. I know that I'm going to do better in the lip gloss and like liquid lip category. So, um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'm pretty happy that I swatched everything. I feel like that was good because you can get a lot of ideas of what lipsticks you want to buy based off of swatches, but you can't really based off of just like, oh, look at this. It's pretty, you know? 
So hopefully that was helpful for you guys. I will be posting a part two very soon, like in the next few days where we're going through everything else, lip crayons. I do have more lipsticks, but they're like crayons and stuff like that. So anyway, I'm going to stop rambling. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys. I will see you very soon with part two. Have a good night. Love you so much. Peace. If you really did me and you think I'm saying some curse, let me know, girl. But you can't get on through. Let me know, girl. Ooh. Oh, Grandma's back just went out. I should probably put you guys on the big tripod. Let's pull out Martha. Yes, I named my tripod because that's what I do. For the love. Nailed it!